Hello, it's Derek Watson again, a dentist here at First Impressions Dental in uh, East Kent. Today I want to talk about plaque. What is plaque? Plaque is something that uh, most people understand is, you know, in connection with dentistry. They've heard the word, but they don't really understand what, what it is. Um, as I've said in other videos, your mouth is naturally full of bacteria. Uh, that's not a problem. Um, we don't want to, we can't, and we don't want to sterilize people's mouths. Having a, a small number of friendly bacteria in your mouth is quite natural and normal and in fact good for you. But if uh, the bacteria is allowed to grow uncontrolled, and that's either because you don't remove it very thoroughly or very frequently with a brush, or you eat a lot of the bacteria's natural food stuff, which is sugar, then your bacteria will run out of control and they grow over your teeth in a layer. And that layer is called a plaque, a plaque. It's not, so plaque is sort of used interchangeably with bacteria. Plaque and bacteria tend to be the same thing and the words are used interchangeably. Now, um, what happens is that your, your mouth is uh, also full of saliva and the saliva tends to be quite high in calcium. Now, why is that? Well, it's because um, if you imagine your teeth, uh, in, in, they're in saliva, aren't they, all of your life? And there's nothing really that can be immersed in warm water body temperature for 70 years and not dissolve and so the calcium is dissolving out of your teeth into your saliva very very slowly and so there's enough calcium in your saliva to go back into your teeth to maintain a balance and that's the reason why your teeth don't dissolve but the drawback of having calcium in your saliva is that if you have bacteria in your on your on your teeth and in particular dead bacteria then those bacteria will calcify in the same way as uh, a coral reef builds up. The bacteria will die, they calcify, and then they start, they form a rough surface, which means that m m bacteria find it easier to stick to the teeth in future, and more of them build up and more of them die. And so this sort of calcified layer builds up. And that's the next day, uh, stage after bacteria stroke plaque is uh, scale or calculus. Now again, you know, we, we love having two or three words for everything in the dental profession. So scale and calculus are the same things. Calculus is the textbook word. Scale is the thing that uh, people used to, you know, think. Uh, they, they, that's the word that the public recognises. Now, and scale, people think of scale as being like scale in a kettle. And that is true. It is sort of formed by uh, sort of calcified deposition in the same way as hard water causes scale on, on the element in the kettle. But in this case, it's calcium from your saliva and it tends to be the bacteria that gets calcified. Now, <clears throat> what happens is um, if that's left unchecked, then scale and calculus will gradually extend down your teeth and they'll strip the gums off as they go. So over a period of years, um, if, you, if nothing is done about this, then um, your teeth will eventually get loose and fall out. Um, what usually happens is that people will get their teeth descaled. That's part of a scale and polish. That's the scale part is actually we mean a D scale. So a D scale and polish and uh, you'll, um, that, that will reset your mouth and uh, you'll be able to start brushing thoroughly again and you'll find it quite easy to get the, the plaque bacteria off after you've been to see the hygienist or the dentist and had your teeth professionally cleaned. But if you don't uh, have your teeth D scale and polished, then uh, your teeth will have uh, rough surfaces and the plaque and the bacteria will find it quite easy to build up. Now, this tends to affect, uh, in most people, the um, inside of the lower front teeth. That's because there's a gland there called the submandibular gland. It's quite high in calcium and that's uh, and it empties out behind the, your lower teeth. And so they're the first ones to get, get it, uh, the scale. Um, you can also get scale around uh, the outside surfaces of your upper teeth from your parotid glands. And if you're very unlucky, then you can get scale uh, generally. Now, scale, if it's above the gum, is reasonably uh, easy to clean off. If it's been there a long time, and I'm talking years, and it's got down below the gum, then you may need to um, have that uh, cleaned off under local anaesthetic. In other words, see the dentist or the hygienists will get you numb, and they will do, uh, typically they'll do half your mouth on one visit. So they'll do, they'll get you numb on the right-hand side, they'll do the top right and the bottom right, and then uh, next week they'll do the top left and the bottom left or, or the next visit. So that's what scale and uh, bacteria is. Uh, that, that's what plaque and, bac plaque and bacteria are the same thing. Scale and calculus the same thing. All of it really not, uh, not a good idea. 
and a quick visit to the dentist or the hygienist should get that sorted out for you. All right, talk to you next time.